Uh, hey, how are you girls? Oh my God, that's amazing. We have the babies for Jenny. We do have Esmeralda, Antonio. Hey, and Miss Janet. Yay. How was your week, guys? Was it good? Yes. Yeah? Yes, teacher. Hey, tell me, what did you do? Uh-huh, tell us about the story. I want to know what is exactly you have done. Okay, Carlitos, go ahead. How was your weekend? Tell us. It's fine, teacher. Fine. It's relaxing. Yeah, it's relaxing. Oh, that's house, wonderful. Home, uh, with, with the family. The family. Uh, yes, I I was in the church on Sunday. Okay. That's good. In the morning. In the morning. Only Yes, it's very, very relaxed. Hey, and also Mr. Snoopy was with you? Hey, Snoopy. <laughs> In this moment, it's... Uh, it's gone. Uh, no, it's a leap. It's, it's a leap. <laughs> it's leaping. Uh, I thought he was he was having a party with... Uh, what was the name? <laughs> that Woodstock. No, it's, uh, my remember God. the bird? Yeah, Woodstock. <laughs> he was, uh, it is Snoopy's closest friend, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. So you know what? I don't know what's happened with Snoopy, but every time that we have English class, he's sleeping. <laughs> no, no. It's, it, it, this dog, uh, how do you say ladrar? Bark. 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 Uh -huh. Bark. Okay. It's every, every sound. Every it's sound? A, it's, yes. It's a, a door. Whoa, whoa. It's a, it's a car. Wow, wow. <laughs> really? Hey, what kind of dog you have? Is it a small dog, medium dog, big dog? No, it's a, a small dog. It's a... What, que, que raza es esta, car? Maltese. Oh, Maltese. Oh, that's Maltese. why. That's why. They are like that. Yes. But, they're, but, they're, but the name is not, it's not Snoopy. It's... it's um, and Loki. Lucky. Loki, oh. Loki, Loki, yes, because it's. Uh, it's uh, is it a girl, a boy? It's not, you know, it's not relaxed. This dog is not relaxed. It's very stressful. Really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think he's very hyper. That yes, could be, hyper, yeah, yes. hyper. Like me, that's why I like him. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yes. Oh, and all, you have only one dog? Only one dog? Only one dog. Oh, no more. Please no more. It's enough. Only one. Oh, I have two. <laughs> yeah, you know. I had two and one cat. You already know Sassy and you already know Whiskey. You just waiting for Mr. Chestnut that appears one day. <laughs> uh, we, our, our, in our neighborhood, uh -huh. our neighborhood uh, they, they, are, they are many, many cats. Many cats? Okay. Yes. Uh, the, they told me mm -hmm. uh, because uh, there are many, many uh, rats. Oh, um, okay. Yes, in, in this, in this, in my house, any, no, None. nothing, nothing. nothing. Maybe, nothing. maybe because of lucky. Because, maybe? because, because the, around the, the, the my house, many cats. Oh, <laughs> of course, so they clean your house. <laughs> house, yeah, yes. definitely. Yeah, I Sassy, I have Sassy because of that. Basically, uh -huh. well, yeah, but it's not my house. But sometimes, or you see, we have a neighbor that they're not, uh, they do not clean well, right? So, uh -huh. so, and sometimes you have like, um, yes, another place that they come, and mm -hmm. I don't know. And for example, yes, Chloe, know, Chloe, mm -hmm. uh, the girl, the, the cat, uh, before Sassy, she mm -hmm. hunt three. Three mouse, three miss. With uh -huh. chestnut, chestnut can hunt a miss. Chestnut is a miss hunter. You know, mouse one, miss uh -huh. the plural uh -huh. of the mouse. Oh. Uh huh. Is a new word that you that you, that you know? I'm going to read it to you. It, it, to here in in front of my house, mm -hmm. there are many trees. So oh. there are snakes. Snakes, uh, uh, how do you say, uh, iguanas? Iguanas. And other oh, alligators. <laughs> Many alligators. <laughs> yes. And, and so uh, my my neighborhood told me, uh, my cats uh, coming, uh, bring the 
the tengereche. Ah. Uh, my cat bring the, the, you know, the but you know what snake but you it's know what is no, yeah no, i know but the cats are like that my, my house nothing <laughs> no and let me let you know why because uh yeah. the cats yes is the way that they express they love for the owners for example they can bring a little a little uh lizard lizard it, it is like um what's that um tingereche lizard What's the meaning, Lisa? Lizard. Lizard. Uh, lizard. Ah, lizard. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Ah, okay. But um, but also they can bring a big one. They can bring a little, a uh, small snake, or even they can bring a bird, a little bird. Mm -hmm. And and it depends on uh -huh. how much they love the uh, the owners. So that is a present, a gift for the people who live with them. Okay. Yeah, that's why they are like that. So you can find <laughs> under your bed, you will find a, a different kind of animals. If you have a cat, <laughs> definitely you will. <laughs> so okay. I think you, that you better don't have a cat, Carlin. <laughs> With yes. a Snoopy, it's fine. <laughs> it's more than enough. <laughs> Thank yes, you, Carlito. Let me okay. listen to somebody else. Okay, let me check. Kevin, hopefully Kevin is here. Kevin, are you here with us or no? Because we were asking for Kevin, 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 Kevin. And Kevin appears here, but is not here. Kevin, what, how are you, Kevin? Yeah, here. Kevin, finally okay. we can How listen you? to you. Yes, I'm happy. I'm happy that I can listen to you. I, I, we miss you, <laughs> Kevin. Yes, we're. I can see your your picture, right? Because you take like a screenshot in front of a mirror, which is really nice. But I cannot see your face. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Don't worry if you're a disaster. That's okay. <laughs> yeah sometimes we're not we haven't come our hair or we have we're really relaxed you know or we're all laying on the sofa because we're tired but that's okay yeah. but i don't like to take photos you like to take photos yeah no i don't i don't oh, you don't and and, and um, what happened with that one that is on the, on the zoom i don't know i just feel ah with a picture of zoom uh-huh exactly what happened i don't know i just I just put it. Oh, or maybe you were like practicing something, then <laughs> appears. That maybe. could be, yeah. Hey, can we see your beautiful face today or no? Uh, <laughs> I guess no. Okay, maybe tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Don't worry. I know it's Monday, all right? I understand. I understand. <laughs> maybe you're like, but you, you are you sick or no? No. Um. Okay, I'm so happy. Tell us, uh, Kevin, how was your weekend? What did you do on your weekend? It was cool. I just played games with my friends. I play Call of Duty. I love to play video games. Really? But I, but I, but I study English a lot. Hey, I'm so, I'm so glad to hear that as well. I'm so happy. Really? You love to play video games? What is exactly the video game that you love the most? Uh, creative Instruction. It's a game kind of like Fortnite, but it's a kind of copy. Okay, you know what? I I have heard a little bit about that and about a lot of another ones. But to be honest with you, uh, I was a video game player, but it stopped about when a pure Sega. Remember that? Uh -huh. Remember Sega? No. No. <laughs> no, really? No. You mean Sega. Sega. Yes. You remember oh, that? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that was my last video game that I played. <laughs> to me, oh. can you imagine? Yeah, that mm. was a long time ago. I need to be updated with the new ones, of course. Yeah. Yeah, and that's an old one. That is, I think, about the 1990s, I think, right? Yeah, and I, and I started playing video games uh, five years ago. Ah, ah, okay, that's why. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yay. So, so you, you have a group, you have a team. Uh, yeah. From it's it's Republic, um, uh, okay, okay. Como se República Republic Dominican Dominican Republic. Uh, I have a friend from 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 there. Oh, really? That is, that he joins your your group? Yeah. Hmm. So you have friends around the world. Basically, I have Basically? English people. Oh, so that's nice. It's kind of hard to understand them. Yes, I know, but it's good because you practice them. Yeah. That's amazing. Oh my God. Maybe if we can see each other live, you can teach me how to play new video games, right? <laughs> For sure. 
That would I be awesome. But you, got, but you know what? You got to be patient with me because <laughs> I'm a whole fashion one. <laughs> 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 yes, I am. But I'm, I'm mm. more than open to learn new things. Okay, so that's cool. Oh so, so that's why. Hey, how old are you, by the way, Kevin? I'm 20. I, that's why. Can you imagine? I double your age. Uh, around, you're in the 30s, you say that. Yes, I'm in the 30s, but I almost close to the 40s. <laughs> <laughs> 30 now. Yeah. So, you know, of course, we, just, we yeah. are losing abilities, right, that we used to have when we were young. Like you, for example. Oh. Mm -hmm. So that's why I ask you to be patient with me. Oh, okay. Maybe you are like oh, Sheldon yes. Cooper and I'm like Be Penny. <laughs> remember, <laughs> remember, uh, you like that series? Yeah, you like the TV series? No, I don't like to. to you don't like, like it? TV, ah. no. like, but you know what I'm talking about? No. No? Ah, okay, that's why. Don't worry <laughs> about that. <laughs> okay. But thank you so much for sharing your, your, um, your weekend. That was awesome, Kevin. Yeah. And, the, and okay. what I what I like is that you enjoyed it, which is really good. Yeah. yeah. And so I remember those things when I enjoy with my pals. Now everybody's married, everybody has their own life, so you know it's, it's quite different. But it was really nice. You know what? That's what I love. Yeah, There's a song that I love in English uh, that calls um, Stand By Me. Have you heard about that, guys? Stand By Me? Dun, 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 dun. Remember that? Yeah? Yes. Okay. I, I, I'm, I'm putting that, in, that into uh, the class because what Kevin said, that he loves to, to play and stay with, his, with their friends. Basically, that was like um, the time when you, when, with the Wonder Years, remember that series, the Wonder Years, that you were with your friends, that your neighbors and everybody. So basically, that, that song is, uh, talks about that your friend when you were a kid, but also when you were when you were younger, like Kevin or maybe you, right? I think they're on their 20s, right? I think so. 20s. 20s, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and they will say, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's nice. Uh, I love that, those ages. It's really nice, 20s. But it's a, it's a time when you're facing many decisions that you need to take in the future. So it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a nice uh, decade, but at the same time, it's a crucial decade. Yeah, because you need to take many decisions. And there are decisions that you can take and you can come back. But there are some decisions that you take and you will never have to regret about it. <laughs> so it's like Gary Marriott, for example. <laughs> All righty, very good. Excellent. Ew, what about you? Now that you're so happy because you're 20. Uh-huh. Ew, how was your weekend, girl? <laughs> Tell us. Well, my weekend is... What? Um, I was no bad, but not good. It wasn't bad, it wasn't good. Why? I was a sick. You yes, got sick? I was a sick. Ooh. Yes. Um, uh, Sorry, what is the how to pronounce the word what how pronounce which one accumulado accumulated accumulado accumulate uh -huh. yes stress yes oh, yes yes okay got i it. have a, a stress and i was sick i oh. um i <laughs> i don't remember what feeling but I very very bad. Oh, I'm sorry, but how do you feel today? Do you feel much better? Yes, much better. And, and what happened? You got sick. You got like a, I don't know, cold. You got a cold. You get a headache. Which yes. were the symptoms? Headache and very very um, tired. 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 Oh, okay, yes, maybe because you were under too much pressure, right? That happens. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but did you have time to bad. to uh, to rest or to sleep? Yes, okay. I rest all day today. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. You know what? That happens when your body said, go to sleep. You have to go to sleep. Yes, sometimes sometimes yes, you it's want true. to go to sleep but you can't right because of your responsibilities right janet but um so if you if you have time and you have to rest rest because it's, it's like uh like your body telling you that you need to recharge batteries 
Yes, of course. But I'm so but happy. You're I say okay. I am fine. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm happy. Yes. And I'm happy because even though you yes, are thank good, you. but not too good, but you're still in class. That's why I'm happy. Okay, so don't worry if you don't want to turn your camera and you're a disaster. That's okay. <laughs> I'm just teasing okay, you, thank Jen. You, thank you, Leo. Okay, and one word. And, and Steffi, what about you, Steffi? Stephanie Ramirez, what about you? Good evening. What about you? How was your weekend, girl? It was okay. Oh, really? What did you do? I did many things. For example, and... just tell me one. Or you can, if you want to tell us everything you, you did, fantastic. <laughs> uh, no, just uh, my family came at home and I spent time with them. And so um, I watched two movies. Really? Uh, I don't Yay. know if you, you Yeah, I watched The Crooks. The Crooks. Oh, you know? yeah, 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 I know. Yeah. I love it. Those are like cartoon ones, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's so funny. Yeah. I, love, I like it. I like it too. And which one, yeah. did, which other one did you, did you watch? Did, uh huh. Only the Crocs? The two movies. Ah, the two movies. Yes. Really? It, they're ready the second one? <laughs> no. Hey, yeah. you, hey, thank you so much for letting me know. I'm going to search for that. I'm going to find out. Because I, lo I love cartoons. Yeah, it's um, uh, Repellis. Mm -hmm. uh, it's on Repellis. It's a page. Repellis, all right. I found, found it. Mm-hmm. Ah, just share with us, okay? So we can just search for those information and enjoy it. That would be awesome. <laughs> thank you. That, that was nice, Tevi. All righty, guys. Thank you so much for being here in today's class and also for sharing your weekends. I wish I could ask all of you, but we don't have time because we have to continue learning, you know? And I know that you're so amazing, students. Hopefully, guys, you've been uh, practicing the songs that I sent it to you. You've been like singing in the bathroom or I don't know. I'll pretend that you're singing, right? But uh, also like practicing will be nice. Today, I'm going to send you another one that will be a little bit tough, okay? And I will send you another listening activity that I know that you will like. It will be like that dictation, but I'm gonna start with something simple, like numbers. Then the second one that I will send out to you this week, it will be about names. But why? Because there's sometimes there are names that you think, for example, um, let's pretend Sylvia, my name, right? Sylvia. Everybody said, ah, I know how it's to write. How you know how to write it? S-I-L-V-I-A. Normally, right? But guess what? Not always. Because in English, my name, the first I, you change it into Y. So it's S-Y-L-V-I-A. And if you're talking in French, you write it in a different way. It's Sylvie. So that's why it is really important to learn and to practice dictations with names. Because, for example, guys, you are giving your information if you go to a reservation of a hotel, for example. Or if you're giving or asking email addresses, it's really important also to learn that. So the third, the third listening that I'm going to send it to you will be talking about email addresses which is one of the harder things to listen. Okay? So this week, everything will be, I'm not gonna give you homeworks, but I expect that you practice all the listenings that I'm gonna send it to you, because that will help you a lot, okay? Janet, how are you? Like, you're like, oh, I know it's Monday, Janet. Oh, I know it's Monday. The body knows that it's Monday. That's why. Yeah, so you're still sleepy, like, <laughs> don't worry, yeah. I'm going to wake you up, definitely. <laughs> but I'm so happy that you're here, Janet, even though I know that you're tired. 
Okay, I, a, Sunday and Monday is not enough, right? No, Saturday and Sunday is not enough. I wish I could have one more day off, but no, it's not possible. <laughs> All righty, guys. Now we're going to uh, continue and uh, start practicing the listening part. <clears throat> In this case, guys, do you remember that we were talking about neighborhood and places around the neighborhood, right? We have increased our vocabulary about that. Today, guys, we're going to focus, as I was explaining to you on Friday, we're going to focus on the pronunciation of the reason the art. And today we're gonna focus in the reduction, in the reduction of there is and there are, but not um, in questions and no in short answers. It's when you're giving extra information, okay? So I want you guys to pay attention of, on that and then we're gonna practice together. And we have to say hi to the Anita that she was in the, uh, on Friday, but she's here. And we have Claudita, we have Aileen, Alexander, my man Alexander is here. Anita also, and also Mr. Carlitos Wano. That's amazing. Yeah. Okay, so are you ready to start? Uh huh. Mm. Yes. Okay. Are you ready, yes. guys? Yes. Okay, that's yes. the spirit that I need. Come on. This happens. This what? happens because all all of us have the, the microphone and on. Uh -huh. no. Enough. So I want everybody to be on, please. All right, guys. <laughs> so let me share right now. Uh, I'm going to share with you. First of all, we're going to listen. Just listen, okay? And then I'm going to share with you the phrases. And, I, and I'm going to play the audio one more time. So you can identify the pronunciation, okay? So ready? Okay, that's cool. There you go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes, it is here. There you go. Okay, guys. There you go. 52, exercise four, pronunciation. Reduction of there is, there are. Part A, listen and practice. Notice how there is and there are are reduced in conversation, except for short answers. Is there a laundromat near here? Yes, there is. There's one across from the shopping center. Are there any grocery stores around here? Yes, there are. There are some on Pine Street. Uh -huh. Did you notice that? That when somebody asks you, is there, are there, the, the immediate answer, yes, there is, no, there aren't, or yes, they are, in that, the pronunciation is not reduced because you can listen the is and the are. The, the reduced part is after that. that you're explaining where is exactly the, the place that the person is looking for. So now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna share right now the, <clears throat> the two questions and the answers that we are listening right now. And in this time, guys, I want you to pay attention on the listening part, but most important thing in um, how there is and there are are reducing conversation, but except in show answers. Okay, so now just a couple of minutes and then we're gonna practice together. So just bear with me for a couple of minutes. There you go. Do you have it already guys? Yep. Yeah, yeah, okay, cool. Yes. All right. So let's play it one more time. And I want you guys to have the writing thing. And at the same time, please try to like pay attention on that pronunciation. Page 52, exercise four, pronunciation. Reduction of there is, there are. Part A, listen and practice. Notice how there is and there are are reduced in conversation except for short answers. Is there a laundromat near here? Yes, there is. There's one across from the shopping center. Are there any grocery stores around here? Yes, there are. There are some on Pine Street. There you go. Okay, guys, did you identify the pronunciation? Did you identify the reduction? If you, if you check it out, guys, in the second part after you said, yes, there is, in that part is where you hear the reduction. In the second question, yes, they are. 
in. There's, there are in that part, in the second part, if what you feel the reduction. Okay, let's practice, okay? Okay, good. Okay, Steffi, do me a favor. Can you please be so kind to, uh, to ask Janet question number one that you have it there? The first one. Yes, please. Okay. Uh, Janet, is there a laundromat near here? Okay. Yes, there is. There's one across from the shopping center. Very good. Excellent, because you pronounce that there's, right? However, Janet, do me a favor, because when you when when everybody that everybody's paying attention on the, on the pronunciation, uh, when you said reduction, that means that you don't pronounce like too much. That there's you said there's one, there's one, there's one across from the shopping center. Okay, so okay. can you please try to do it like that? Okay, do me a favor. Let's do it again, Steffi. One more time, please. <laughs> Janet, is there a laundromat here? Yes, there is. There's one across from the shopping center. Very good. That's what I like. Excellent, girl. Now let's do the opposite thing. Janet, can you please ask the question? And Mrs. Stephanie will be so glad to answer it for you. <laughs> okay. Uh, Steffi, is there a laundromat near here? Yes, there is. There's one across from the shopping center. Very good. That's what I need. Excellent job. Thanks, Miss. Yeah, no, thank you. Very good. Okay, let's practice the sec the, the first one one more time. And then we're gonna go with the second one. Hey, Alexander. Hello, yes, my man, Alexander. Nice to meet you. Okay. <laughs> Do me a favor, Alex. Could you please be so kind to work with Diana? Dianita, are you here, Dianita? Dianita. Yes. 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 Okay. Excellent yeah. girl. So Mr. Alexander will be, no, Dianita. Dianita, can you please ask Mr. Alexander question number one, the same thing that Stephanie asked. And Mr. Alexander, could you please be so kind to answer? It? Yes. Your best. Yes. Alexander, is, is there a laundromat near here? Yes, there is. There's one across from the shopping center. Very good, very good. But now I want Mr. Alexander to join it. There's one, there's one, okay, together. Uh-huh, so Dianita, do me a favor. Can you ask Mr. Alexander once again the same question, please? Okay. Is there a laundromat near here? Very Alexander. good. Yes, there is. There's one across from the shopping center. Very good. Great job, Alex. Okay, now let's do the opposite thing. Alex, can you have to ask the question and the Anita will be the one who answered it. Okay. Excellent job, guys. Okay. Diana, is there a landerman near here? Yes, there is. There's one across from the shopping center. Very good. Excellent. Oh my goodness. You're going to broke my heart today, guys. Excellent. Good job, guys. Very good. Oh, the little baby's crying, Anita. Hmm. I'm sending a hugs and kisses, okay? <laughs> okay, now, now about question number two. Uh, 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 uh. Victim, sorry, participants. Ew. Ew. Ew, 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 ew. Hello, oh, ew. Yeah. Hi, ew. Yes. <laughs> Hello. It's me. It's me. Is it me you're looking for? All right. And you'll see. All right. Yes, it's, it's you I'm looking for. Definitely. Okay. So, so know, Eo, do me a favor. Can you please ask question number two to Mr. Carlos Antonio Polanco, please? Okay. Are there any grocery stores around here? Carlitos, Carlitos, okay, Carlitos appears. I don't, I don't listen very good, teacher. You don't listen very good? Uh, but yes, do you have the image? My ear and eyes is, is problem. No, I oh, need okay. it. Okay. Okay, are there any grocery store around here is the question. Yes, right? sir. Yes, sir. Yes, there are. There are some one pine street. There are. 
Very good. But try to do oh, me a, something, Carlitos. Do you see that in the second sentence? There, there's, there, there, of course, but there, there's some. There. Yeah, do me a favor. Try to pronounce it again. Okay. Yes. Yes, there are. There are some on Penny Street. Very good, Carlitos. Now let's do the opposite thing. You ask the question okay. and Eu will answer. Okay, Eu, Eu, are there any grocery stores around here? Yes, there are. There are some on Pine Street. Very good. Oh my goodness, you're going to broke my heart today. Amazing. Very good. So you see, guys, how we can pronounce and at the same time we can reduction. But also, but the reduction, if you notice, is not on the immediate answer of the just no question. The reduction is in the second part. When we have, when we have to explain where is exactly the, the place that the person is looking for, okay? So that will be the part where we make a reduction. Now, guys, we're going to continue with the listening part. And basically, now, I want you guys to pay attention about something for example, I don't know if that had happens to you. Maybe we, we are not like Carlitos Cruz, like that we have gone to Italy, right? Maybe we are not. But we have visited many places here in El Salvador, right? We have visited, for example, La Paneca, Ataco, Sushi Toto, Santa Ana, what else? La Union, El Golfo de Fonseca, et cetera, right? Yes, of course. Some of us prepare the mountains, some of us prepare the beach. So, but guys, the, sometimes when we arrive to a place, uh, for example, here in El Salvador, because uh, we do not live there, we don't know exactly the places that we have that we can visit, right? So we ask, hey, can you please let me know a really good place where we can go? If you, if you example, if you're like a sportive guy, like Alexander, you will ask for a place that you can climb, right? Or you can uh, go and swim with your dogs, for example, like a lagoon or something like that. But if we are like, I don't know, maybe intellectual girl, right? We are, we are going to go for a place where somebody do a handcraft or, or, you, or you also you can take pictures, for example. Or if you love to eat, of course, everybody loves to eat, right? <laughs> or if, you, if you're like a coffeeholic, right? Like me, like the teacher, you will ask, hey, where can I, it would be a really good restaurant that I can have a delicious cup of coffee, especially in the route flower, right? When it's like, it's like this is a really cold place, right? So basically the listening part that we're about to hear, it is basically about three places that um, a person or persons who arrive to a hotel uh, would like to visit. And basically, guys, we're going to listen to hotel guests ask about places to visit, and we need to complete the chart. So what I'm going to do right now, guys, I'm not in this time, I'm going to be a little bit hard teacher. OK, I'm going to be bad teacher today because I'm not gonna share with you the writing thing. I'm not. It will be only listening. If you catch, great. If you didn't, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, don't look at me like that, Janet. Like, <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, but what I'm gonna tell you guys is that they're going to talk about three places, okay? And I will let you know which the three places are so you can have an idea. Hard Rock Cafe. Zion's Museum and an aquarium, okay? Hard Rock Cafe, Zion's Museum and an aquarium. So basically guys, what I want you to pay attention, I'm going to play the audio twice, okay? So don't worry. In the first thing, I want you to pay attention of the location, okay? Location of the Hard Rock Cafe, aquarium and the, in the Zion's Museum. That's all that I want, location. And after that, I'm going to play it one more time, and I want you guys to just tell me if it's interesting, is it an interesting place, yes or no. That's it. Easy, peasy, quizzy, right? Of course. Uh-huh, for you, teacher. Hmm. Yeah, don't worry about it. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. So let me just a couple of minutes. Let me search right now for the one that I need. Ah, okay, yes, that's the one that I need. There you go. Okay, so you guys ready? Uh, mm. Yes. 
All right, that's the spirit, Danny. Come on. Uh -huh. All right, very good. So you see, Janet, I told Janet, you're not going to slip with me. You're not going to slip with me. Yeah. All right, so bear with me. Let me share it. And then we're going to uh, ask a few questions. But before I do, uh, hopefully, Mr. Carlitos Ruano is here so he can answer my questions. Also, Kevin Bijalta. And of course, of course, of course, uh, 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 maybe Anita. I don't know. I don't know who I'm going to pick, but pay attention, okay? Stephanie Ramirez. Um, okay, okay, don't worry. Stephanie has to go because of uh, a family emergency, okay? But then we're going to continue. Okay, so let me just a couple of minutes. There you go. There you go. Okay. 52, exercise six, listening. What are you looking for? Part A, listen to hotel guests ask about places to visit. Complete the chart. Good morning, can I help you? Yes, we need some directions. Sure, what are you looking for? Well, first of all, we're looking for the Hard Rock Cafe. How far is it from here? Oh, it's just a few minutes from here, right across from the National Bank. The National Bank on Park Avenue? Yes, that's the one. Is the Hard Rock Cafe a nice place? Well, I think so. The food is good, and there are some interesting things to look at in the restaurant, like one of Elvis's cars. Great. And where is the Science Museum? Well, that's near City Hall. Near City Hall, okay. I know where that is. And what's the museum like? Actually, it's not very good. It's small, and there isn't a lot to see there. It's really for young kids. Oh, then maybe we won't go there. Hmm. One last question. Is there an aquarium in the city? Yes, there's a very good one. It's only about six blocks from here. It's in the park, next to the train station. Oh, next to the train station. Yes, definitely visit the aquarium. Great. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Have a good day. Okay. So who can tell me where is the aquarium? Ah, that's the last one you heard. Come on. <laughs> uh -huh. Where is the aquarium? Uh -huh. Carlitos Rano. Carlitos Rano is not here. Every time that I ask him, he's not here. Uh, Eileen is, is answering. Okay, Eileen. Thank you. Go ahead. The aquarium is in the park next to the train station exactly and do you remember Aileen how many blocks from the hotel I think you're your bad six I guess yay very good excellent good job all right let me check what about guys um the hard rock cafe I think Mr. Alexander will be interesting in that place I'm guessing I don't know why but what do you think Alexander it was close to the national bank uh-huh exactly and the, okay I'm, I'm i'm not going to ask that question under the second listening okay but that's good yeah i i think i will go there you know mm -hmm. what about the science museum where's the science museum uh-huh anita romero uh-huh anita romero anita 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 i don't Listen. You didn't listen? Okay. I know it, it, because you know what? It was like, um, it was not quite, how can I say, it? Uh, understood in this case because they, the, the information was like mixed. They give information and then they started talking about a thing and then give another extra information about the museum. So I know it, that, that was one of the hardest part that it was really hard to pay attention because the information of the science museum was not giving complete at the beginning it was given in parts okay i understand that but tell me something who can who who does remember besides anita I, I, anita didn't remember who remembers no nobody <laughs> okay it's, uh, near, near the city uh, hall near the city hall okay uh are you agree with that eileen eileen Near the zero hole. Near the zero hole. Okay. Okay. We're about to listen again and then we can double check. Now, guys, do me a favor. Now, the second time that we're going to listen, I want you guys to pay attention about 
how they describe each place. The uh, aquarium museum, the, um, the science, uh, not the aquarium museum, the aquarium, the science museum, and of course, the um, Hard Rock Cafe. And then you let me know, guys, if you think that will be an interesting place to visit or not. Okay? All right. So according to about the guesses of the hotel and according to, according to you. Okay, so let me just a couple of minutes. Let me share right now the screen once again. Page 52, exercise six, listening. What are you looking for? Part A, listen to hotel guests ask about places to visit. Complete the chart. Good morning, can I help you? Yes, we need some directions. Sure, what are you looking for? Well, first of all, we're looking for the Hard Rock Cafe. How far is it from here? Oh, it's just a few minutes from here, right across from the National Bank. The National Bank on Park Avenue? Yes, that's the one. Is the Hard Rock Cafe a nice place? Well, I think so. The food is good, and there are some interesting things to look at in the restaurant, like one of Elvis's cars. Great. And where is the Science Museum? Well, that's near City Hall. Near City Hall, okay. I know where that is. And what's the museum like? Actually, it's not very good. It's small, and there isn't a lot to see there. It's really for young kids. Oh, then maybe we won't go there. Hmm. One last question. Is there an aquarium in the city? Yes, there's a very good one. It's only about six blocks from here. It's in the park, next to the train station. Oh, next to the train station. Yes, definitely visit the aquarium. Great. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Have a good day. Okay, so tell me, the Hard Rock Cafe, is it an interesting place to visit? Yes or no? Yes. 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 Hey, Lana, how are you? All right, good evening. Okay, what about the um, Science Museum? If you are a jogger, yes. If you're a jogger, right? But if it's a board, they say, right? Okay. So definitely, do the um, did the guests uh, wanted to visit the science museum or no? No, no right? No. No, no. no. What about the aquarium? Yes. Yeah, yes, right. Yes, Claudia. Yes, place. yes. A nice place, exactly. And now, guys, in your opinion, think about that you're. I'm going to be one of the guests here. Which place would you like to visit and why? Uh, it had rock cafe. Uh, well, I, I knew it. And I think Alexander will visit too with Carlitos including. Okay, but tell me something. Why? Because uh, to this, uh, the description is very interesting because it's uh -huh. uh, good food and uh, uh -huh. cars of Elvis. Sounds uh -huh. very interesting. Yeah, exactly. I think it's like a bohemian, right? Yes. Yeah, what do you think, Alexander? Would you like to join Loida? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, right? I know. Also, you, let's go. Yeah, and also, I think it would be like a live concert, right? I think so. That could be. So good that, music, maybe. Good music, yeah. Yeah, the <laughs> environment would be really good and relaxed. That's good. And uh, Carlitos, would you like to go with them? Yes, right. right. Of course, yeah. but yeah. without Snoopy, Snoopy will be sleeping by then. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. What about guys? Um, the science museum. Would you like to go there? No. No. Claudia said no. Me, me, yes. I, yes? I would like the different. Yes, okay. I would like the science. Yes, the history, prehistory is very interesting uh, knowledge. This, this, mm -hmm. uh, this, how do you say, eras of mm -hmm. different something in the world. Exactly. Yes. Especially if you, but if you have kids, right, that would be more interesting, right? Yes. So maybe Jenny yes, can yes. go as well. And also Carlitos. Maybe, yes, Claudita? Maybe I'd like to to know the museum, but with my niece. 
Ah, with your knees. Yeah, that would be interesting. Yeah, exactly. Because the what they said it would be just especially for kids, right? Yeah. I think it would be like Ting Marin here, maybe. <laughs> Maybe. You know what? My knees have gone to Team Marie like more than 10 times. And in my case, I haven't been there. Can you imagine? I haven't been there. I don't know the Team Marie, but and now it's closed, right? Because of the quarantine. So, but I wish I could go there. Yeah. I, I think the Science Museum would be kind of like that. As, that's what I think when they start like describing it. What about you, Janet? Do you think you can go with your with your baby girl to the Zion Museum or not? Mm, I think no. No? She doesn't she's, like those kind of things? No, she's she's more than, like more than uh, other things. Okay. So she's not that kind of baby girl. Okay. Maybe she's a sportive. Maybe she can go with Lloyd and run. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> All right, very good. What about you, Jenny? Hi, teacher. Uh, Hi. Uh, I like I like music. Uh, music. Museum. 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 Oh, museums. Me too. Museum. Um, uh, there there is a muse, museum museum mm -hmm. museum <laughs> museum in in Puerto de la Libertad. Really? Yes. How did uh, I know that? I found I, I foundation. A foundation, yeah. <laughs> uh, me, and it's um, species marinas. Oh, really? <laughs> sea species. Yes. Oh, yes. that's interesting. Uh, is the turtle tur turtles marinas? Uh, uh, <laughs> sea turtles. E yes. Yes. Wow, that's amazing. It's, I didn't know that, Jenny. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Hey, you should let us know the how we can go there, right? You should send it to like Google Map or something like that so we can go there. That was amazing cuz I love I love seas. And I and I yes. have been with um I I have met a lot of sea creatures. So hopefully I can be there with them. I have been with dolphins. It is. Yeah. Um Whales as well. <laughs> Ash, do your best. Do your best, Jenny. Come on, Jenny. You can do it. Um, no sé cómo decirlo. Do your best. Or maybe you can say it in Spanish and your classmate will be more than glad to give you a hand. Come on. You can do it. There is liberation of turtle babies. Ah, oh, really? Oh. Yes. Oh, so you can send them, uh, you can open it and they can like get free? Yes. Or, or be free? Ah, that's amazing. I like it. It's... Yeah, that would be a really exciting experience. Don't you think, guys? Yeah. Yeah. You think... Jenny, you should you should uh, share with us that location, please. That would be awesome. Thank you, Jenny. Uh, it... Yeah. <laughs> okay, so lo quiero decir. Rápido okay, go, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yo ya no estoy ahí en el museo, pero es un museo muy bonito que se lo recomiendo. Lo, lo fundamos en el año 2016 okay. y es, es muy bello, muy educativo para los niños también. Entonces pueden llegar al Puerto de la Libertad en la Playa San Blas. You can, I, can, I recommended that museum. We have founded it in 2016. I used to work there, but no anymore. But I recommend you because it's a really educative museum and you will love it a lot. You see? Like that. <laughs> Easy peasy quizzes. Okay. So, but do, but so very good. Excellent. Excellent, Jenny. All righty. Now, guys, we have finished this topic, but we will continue with a kind of different, but a not quite different topic because uh, we will continue with the neighborhood topic. We have seen, for example, vocabulary. We have seen a definition of places that you can find in the neighborhood. We also have seen there is and there are, right? How to answer immediate questions and how to give an extra information. And also we have practiced a reduction of the there is and there are. And now we have listened about interesting places that you can visit if when you are arriving in a specific town. 
but with Carlitos Antonio Polanco at the beginning of our conversation and about at the beginning of our class, I remember that he said, I love a, I love my neighborhood, but and to be honest with you, I do not have lizards here and any rats because I have a neighbors <laughs> who they have a lot of cats, right? A lot of, a cats. Lot of cats that they do their job for me. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> basically guys, there are some things that we like about our neighborhood, but there are some things, oh, we can say complaints, complaints about neighborhoods, right? Or neighbors, that means something that you don't like. For example, a, I, I love animals by heart, but sometimes there are a neighbor, they have 12 cats in the house or like more than three or four dogs and they bark all night when you're supposed to go to sleep. And sometimes they turn it on the music really high, right? 11.30, 12 noon or 12 a.m. And you're still listening to that music. And it's not a romantic music, it's a hard rock music. Like, eh. so, so, you, so you know what, sometimes, there are com common complaints about neighbors. Uh, talking about guys, we're going to talk about four big S and areas. We're going to talk about um, cleanness. We're going to talk about privacy. We're going to talk about place. Oh, pets, sorry. And we're talking about um, music. Or, well, we can also say a uh, noise. If we can say that. So guys, I'm gonna share with you some information about these main um, areas. And then I want you guys to give me your opinion about if that happens to you in your neighborhood or not. Okay, so just allow me one couple of minutes. There you go. All righty, just let me know if you have it or not. Because I don't know if that had happens to you guys, but that had happens to me. Okay, do you have it? Yes, right? Okay, guys, yes. so I sent it to you common complaints that we do have in our neighborhood, or in this case about our neighbors. For example, uh, 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 talking about noise. Noise, you know what noise is, right? Ah, riddle, all right. So guys, I want you to just do me a favor. In this case, you cannot check, right? Because of course you cannot write on your on your computer. But I want you guys to let me know the complaints that you have about your neighbors or about your neighbors. The ones that I sent it to you, which of the ones that I sent it to you, you have about our, your neighbors? Do you have complaints about noise? Do you have complaints about cleanness, pets, privacy? I don't know, which one do you have in your neighborhood? What about your neighbors? Okay, Eloida, go, go ahead. Well, in my neighborhood, uh, there are so many noise. There is so many noise. There's it's too much noise. Too much noise. noise. Uh -huh. But no for music allowed. Mm -hmm. uh, it's because uh, there are too many children. Oh, okay, okay. And, and and they play in the front of my house, house. and laughing and mm. house and laughing and is and another noise is the sellers. Oh yes, uh -huh. because they always greet them. Jail, jail gel too much mm -hmm. and all day because they uh, uh, have uh, bread, uh, fruits, tortillas, uh, <laughs> tortillas, <laughs> uh, at everyone, every, everything. Oh it's my very, God. It's very um, annoying. Annoying. Yes, annoying. annoying. Yes, yes. Yeah, thanks God that you don't have a dog because if not, the dog will be singing all day. <laughs> <laughs> in front, in front of my house, uh, there are two dogs. Two dogs, okay. And, and they, they do sing when the when the settlers came. 
Do yes. they sing? Really? Yes. <laughs> like uh, whiskey, yes. whiskey, whiskey sings a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and and only and only noise. And you have a, a, a common complaint in your neighborhood like that, or you have cleanliness and privacy and pets complain as well or not? No, only no, noise. No, only noise. What about, okay, raise your hand who has the same problem as Loida, Janet, Alexander, Kevin, I don't know, Carlitos, Claudia, Jenny, Leo, you, Carlitos Rano, Anita, Eileen, Boris, no? Hey guys, what about cleanness? My neighborhood is too clean. Clean. Okay. The only, the only problem, the, uh -huh. the, the, the only problem is uh, like Loida, uh -huh. but no all the time. Mm -hmm. the, uh, normally it's too much um, silence. Uh, it's, it's, uh -huh. it's, there's a lot of silence. But uh, one or two weekends, uh, mm -hmm on the month okay uh, the neighbors have parties of teenagers okay and they are singing and listening music <laughs> a todo pulmon yeah, okay okay <laughs> okay very All loud very loud All the night oh my god so so the, the problem is about noise maybe yes sorry about that Oof. What who else has a problem with the pets? Nobody? Nobody. No, no, no. Alex, mm -hmm. Ewu, Jenny, no. What about cleanness? Cleanness? Sometimes sometimes there are neighbors that you have your specific spot, right? When you take out the garbage, when you listen to the bill, right? For the garbage truck. But sometimes they put their garbage in your spot. That had happens to you or no? No, no, no. Okay. What about privacy? So so. <laughs> Claudi, you, you have that problem? So so, but um the the neighbors vecinos how do neighbors, you say? neighbors? Neighbor, I have my neighbors um all the time um not all the time but sometimes mm -hmm. uh Looking, open the windows and looking. Ah. What's what's happened? Yeah, <laughs> like <that's>, gossip. <laughs> but and that is good, and mm, and not too good. Uh huh. For example, when un ladrón, cuando un ladrón. <laughs> of course. Uh -huh. How you say that? How you say that word in English, guys? When a tiff, oh. tiff, tiff. Tiff, yeah. Tiff. Uh, tiff. Mocker. When, no. Mocker. Mm, it's different. But mm -hmm. well, similar. Mm -hmm. uh, when a tiff, maybe they uh, avisa, they... They let us know. <laughs> uh, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> okay, that's good, but that's good. In that case, it's nice, right? But there are some neighbors that, hey, how are you? And they are paying attention about every single move that you have, right? Or that you do. That's annoying. Yeah, so that's not good. All right. Uh, Alexander, what about you? Do you have any of this experience at home? No? Alex? Um, okay, my, my neighborhood is so quiet. Okay. Uh, there live um, a lot of old people. Oh, ah, okay. Uh, so, but we have sometimes in the, in the year, uh, a lot of parties. Ah, okay. And you're including. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I gotta be honest. <laughs> All right. Hey, but let me ask you guys, besides of these complaints, I just uh, select those complaints because are the most common ones. But do you have, besides this one, do you have any other complaints about your neighbors? Any other thing that happened that makes you feel like uncomfortable? I don't know. If you have it, if not, don't worry about that. That's okay. No. Uh, the only problem that, but the second problem mm -hmm. that I have near here is that I don't have a supermarket or mm. uh, um, uh, something like near here. Mm -hmm. So I can, I, I'm 
I can to to go. You can go to a little of um, lejos. <laughs> Far. From here. Oh, okay, I got it. it, it Yes, it's too complicated, it's, right? Thanks, Ellie. You have a card. It's 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 a lot of private. Mm -hmm. So they are, there aren't something like like that. But besides besides uh, besides that, any other complaints about your your, your neighbors? That means the people that lives near you. No, nothing else. Sounds good. All right. So tell me something, guys. When you have those kind of complaints that you have mentioned right now, how you react? What is your reaction? I close my windows. You close your windows. Okay, that's nice. What else? Who else? I don't know. Evo, Carlito, Eileen, Boris. Boris, I want to listen to your voice. Come on. Bodies. All right. Hello. 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 What Hello. about you? What do you do uh, when you have a complaint like that? Um, the same in Florida. Okay. I close my windows. Close your windows. Uh, the door. Everything. <laughs> because yeah. in front of uh, my house, mm -hmm. uh, since two, uh, two years ago, okay. Uh, put uh, in front of my house a uh, taxi station. Oh, okay. And for me, that's problem because they are uh, cleanless. Yes. Uh -huh. And uh, yeah. every night, every day, have a noise, have oh a, 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 a relajo. <laughs> yes. And for me, it's a problem. Of course, and, especially because you do work at home, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I hope they don't listen to me <laughs> <laughs> hopefully <right> not <laughs> <laughs> okay because they will do something against you not just kidding uh, and for the reason i close my windows the mm. doors everything yes exactly because especially for sometimes there are play, people that uh, works in a call center right but right yes. now due to the quarantine they have to work at home or other kind of jobs but they you need to like be concentrated or sometimes you need to make phone calls right Yes. Or for example, like Loida, like she's like something about it, a, re, a correction about some things about uh, books and everything. You have to be focused on what you're doing. And sometimes with a lot of noise, you can be like disconcentrated and that makes you like, right? It's a problem. It's a problem, yeah, exactly. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to hear that, Boris. Besides that cleanliness and the noise, anything else? Um... Uh, anything else? Uh, I don't know. I repeat the the. I don't know how do you say relajo. Like a losing. <laughs> losing, like a losing, and they. Uh, oh, laxity! Too, if you think too, too much <laughs> uh, in the night. Uh, I know. Uh, I'm just I sorry know. to hear that. Uh, I know. Yes. Frustrated. Um, ex exactly. Uh, I. I don't sleep well and everything. Oh, no. It's a problem. It's it, a problem. Definitely, it is a problem. I know that. I'm sorry yes. to hear that. Oh, no. So, how you react? You just close the door and everything, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes, because yes. if I call the police, uh, you're, you're going to be in trouble. <laughs> yes. It's all a problem and I don't. I don't you don't want to do to have to that yes, happen to I you. I don't want that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially nowadays, and we need to be very careful, right? Yes, yes. I know. Yeah, you're yes. right about that. Okay, guys, I'm. thank you so much for sharing your complaints. Maybe you, you're just stressed out a little bit, right, here in class. <laughs> At least Boris could say about what had happened, and he will feel much better right now. <laughs> well, but, but you know what? Okay, guys, excellent. Why I'm asking you all these things and when we're talking about that, because when we're talking about complaints and everything, guys, we need to learn how to use what we call in English quantifiers. Okay, about many, about much, about a few, a little, a lot, and aren't any, etc. 
Okay, so tomorrow uh, we will like jump in with that and we're going to focus on how can we use quantifiers to express or to express uh, complaints uh, or, or maybe not complaints. For example, when somebody asks you, hey, how is your neighborhood like? Is it safe? Does it have a lot of traffic? Is there a lot of crime? I don't know. So, so when they ask you about that, you need to use quantifier to explain how is your neighborhood like. But you need to be very careful how to use the quantifier, which nouns we need to use with many, for example, and which nouns we need to use with much, for example. So yeah, tomorrow, guys, we're going to learn about that, okay? So, as I said, I'm not going to give you homework. Yay! But, as I also let you know, I'm going to, yes, and, and it was like happy, like, oh my God, she's almost dying of happiness. <laughs> that, we're, I'm going to send it to you, uh, Sonny, you can practice. And the first listening activity that I want you to do at home for yourself is about dictation. Dictation about numbers, okay? Numbers. And I have chosen a British accent because of that. So I'm sorry if you're gonna kill me. Yes, maybe you remember me sometimes. <laughs> but <laughs> yes, the British accent and why? Because there are some special pronunciations that they have. And maybe, maybe uh, next time I can switch for a Jamaican accent maybe Australian accent, because even though they speak English, it's not the same, babies. It's not the same at all. Okay, but today, at least these, these three uh, listening activities will be Bridget. Okay? Any questions, any doubts, feel free. You want to kill me? That's okay. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> now I'm so happy to see you once again, guys, that okay. you are alive and also that you are here with us. That's amazing. I know, Carlitos, you want to go to sleep. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. So hugs and kisses. Have a great night. Okay. Bye-bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Have a good night. Bye. Bye. Bye.